In the last tutorial, we showed you how to work with walls, windows, and doors. In this video, we are going to use our uh, finished floor plan here, and we're going to begin adding appliances, uh, the electrical, and uh, show you how to set up the wiring. Here's a floor plan, our finished floor plan here. We have our planning area, and on the last tutorial, we showed you how to uh, set up some rooms and place the windows and doors. Here we have our bathroom area, the kitchen, and up here, our processing area. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, adding some plumbing fixtures in our bathroom. We'll move on to a few kitchen appliances, uh, and then we'll get started with the electrical. So uh, to do that, first thing we want to do is go up here to our plumbing fixtures. And here you see again, uh, we have our symbols um, that we have available for the plumbing. We're just going to grab a standard bathtub. Uh, again, if you have certain sizes that uh, might be a little bit more specific, just enter uh, in the custom size and you can get a, a certain size bathtub. Okay, so we're just going to place this in here. Again, it rotates to the wall. And then our symbol still selected. We're going to right click and then move on to a toilet here. And place that symbol there and disable it. And now let's uh, add a sink. Okay, here we have our bathroom. Let's uh, move over to our kitchen. And in our kitchen area, uh, we've drawn a counter space. Uh, this was done uh, just using the polyline tool. Uh, if you set it for uh, the 90 degrees or the 45, um, will help you to uh, do those 90s um, a lot easier. So let's uh, select a sink and place that against this wall. We'll go up to our electrical appliances. Let's add a range and a refrigerator. And let's add a dishwasher. Okay, so here we have our kitchen area uh, ready to be wired. And so we're going to start our wiring um, here in the planning area. So let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to select uh, the first power circuit and, and we're going to show you how to set up um, the different circuits here in a little bit. But first we're just going to place some symbols uh, on this first circuit here. Um, let's start with a uh, three-way switch and then a light right in the center here. And then let's place some receptacles along our wall. Okay, now that we have our switches, our light, and some receptacles, let's go ahead and we're going to run some wires now to uh, this light from these three ways. And there's a couple different options we have here under our wires. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the sweeping, sweeping wire. And we'll just click on that. And you'll notice that my, my cursor is set um, to the large cursor. Uh, you can switch that up here uh, on the icon. And we, now we have our, our small cursor. I like to use the large cursor. It just allows... Um, me to align things better as I'm drawing. So again, we'll select the sweeping wire. We'll start at this switch and move to this light and then right click. Oh, we'll select the wire again and to this other switch. And here, uh, a couple options we have when you select the wire. Uh, we can select um, the bulge here. I'm going to hold down my control key and select this other wire at the same time so that we can make the changes together. Um, we're going to set this. This is set to 44. Uh, let's just go to 55 here and set that. You'll notice the difference uh, in the arc here. Let's go back down to 44. We'll use that. And again, with your uh, wire selected, you can also change the color and as well as the line style. So now we're going to delete these wires and we'll uh, show you the other wire option. Uh, just so you know, uh, as you're working with your different circuits, if you just select on one of the symbols that are on the circuit you're working with, uh, that circuit will uh, be highlighted and as well as the symbols will become available for you. So now we just select the curved wire here. We're going to select the 45. And again with our large cursor, we're going to go over here to this switch. Come over and down 
and then align it to the center of this light. Click and then let go. And on the other side, we're going to line it up to the wire. Come off of here and line it up with the top of that switch. And then right click to release. And again, here you highlight them and you can make changes uh, such as coloring uh, and line style as well. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you how to separate circuits. So if you've been drawing and placing symbols all in the same circuit and you decide you want to separate these circuits, uh, this is the method that you'll use uh, to do that. So on this first circuit, let's name this planning receptacles. Hit OK. And we're going to go to the second circuit. We're going to change the name to planning lights. Now what we want to do is we want to get the lights and, this, and the switch and the wires off of this circuit and move it to the light circuit. So we're going to hold our control key and we're going to select all these symbols and the wires. And then once they're selected, right click and choose cut. And then let's move to our planning light circuit, right click and choose paste. And now we can just move these in place. And now we have two separate circuits here. So we have our planning lights and we have our planning receptacles. And as you click, uh, for example, the receptacles, you'll notice that circuit's highlighted. We click on the light here and it highlights that circuit. So if you want to add more symbols uh, to those circuits, that's just an e easier way to do it if you just click on the wire or one of the uh, objects on that layer. When uh, working with the circuits, if you're uh, wanting to add another one, just go over here to uh, add a new circuit and you can choose a name for the circuit and select the library, whether you want it to be the common uh, library or all. Now your symbols, uh, depending what uh, scale that your floor plan's in, if your symbols are smaller than you'd like, uh, just highlight the symbols. The other option is, since we're on the planning receptacles, we know these are just receptacles, we just click on that layer and we go highlight the entire circuit. And now we can just uh, arrange the move the slider bar here to adjust the size of our receptacles or you can enter a, a percentage size here and then just choose set percentage. Down here under structure uh, this will just have different symbols um, such as your audio, video, uh, as well as your telephone. Um, so you just kind of do the same uh, method of wiring um, that you would do with the other circuits on your power layer. So we're just going to place like say a telephone jack here we can go up here and rotate that. Move that against the wall. Let's, uh, here we have 157%. We're just going to choose set percentage and it'll bump that up a little bit bigger, um, just like our other uh, receptacles were. And here again, you just uh, can do the same functions here. Change the circuit name, highlight the circuit. And now another option uh, over here on your layers here, uh, let's say our planning receptacle, uh, you can choose to um, have that layer be visible or invisible just by going over here and unchecking the visible checkbox. And now uh, just watch the receptacles on the screen here. Uh, they're going to disappear. And then uh, when they do, it'll that particular la layer uh, will have an icon next to it. It'll be that cancel sign. That'll just uh, help you identify uh, what's going on on each layer. Uh, we can also, if you click on uh, the power layer here, we can choose to lock this layer if we don't want to um, mess with any of these uh, after they've already been designed and set. We just choose the locked button and all of them will switch to locked. And this one is still set to uh, not visible. So as soon as we check, check that to visible again, that one will also be displayed as, as locked there. Uh, this function here, uh, let's go ahead and unlock those. Uh, under the walls, windows, and doors, uh, this is a good option. Um, after you've laid out your floor plan so you don't accidentally move the walls and stuff around just click that one as being locked and again that will show with the lock sign beside it so you know uh, when you open your project again which ones are locked and which ones are visible and so now we're going to go click a wall and you'll notice that we can't select that wall we can't move it uh, as well as these windows um, they're locked in place there we're going to go ahead and show you how to add uh, a couple graphic objects in here to finish this up um, and just to let you know, uh, we're going to go into more detail on graphic objects on uh, another tutorial. Uh, but for this one, we're just going to go ahead and quickly unlock this layer. And then we're going to right click and insert a graphic object. 
And here under the graphic objects, uh, you'll see we have vehicle, vehicles, uh, furniture, and other objects you can insert. We're going to choose wire labels, and we're going to choose uh, the 12-3 symbol here. We're going to zoom out, and you'll notice uh, it's really large here. But what we can do is uh, just shrink that down to the size that you prefer. And then when you're satisfied with that, you can just copy and paste. I just did Control C for copy and then Control V for paste. And then we'll just paste these right on top of our wires here. Now, when working uh, with your floor plan here, if you don't want that grid displayed um, on the ruler here, we just select the ruler and then we uncheck the display grid. And you'll still be able to have your snapping, even though the actual grid's not being displayed. As long as the ruler's displayed, uh, your snapping feature will still be uh, activated. And here we have our first uh, room finished. And uh, we would just continue on using these uh, same techniques with the other rooms, uh, labeling our power circuits as we place our symbols and wire up our switches and lights. This concludes our tutorial on uh, placing symbols in the Wire Pro as well as working with electrical and wiring. Um, this tutorial is not designed uh, to show you proper electrical wiring techniques, so you'll want to uh, contact your local electrical authority for that information.